It has been raining buckets since late yesterday afternoon, looking at rainfall totals over the past 24 hours between two and now four and a half inches of rain. Top spot right now, Tannersville, just shy of that four, four and a half inch mark. Over three inches for Kinderhook now, uh, over two and a half inches in Chestertown, parts of the southern Adirondacks, and Albany is starting to get closer to that two inch mark. The entire News 10 area under a flood watch. This is going to take us through 5 a.m. Tomorrow, additional rainfall coming through the day. We've already gotten a number of reports of roads that are closed due to flooding. You want to be sure to listen to those signs and heed those warnings. Uh, we also have been seeing some of our waterways also get a little bit more swollen. That flooded warning that I was telling you about in Greene County, it has been extended. Now is going to run until 11 a.m. this morning. Fortunately, the rain has lightened up, but even still, steady light rain over an area that is already pretty soggy and waterlogged, not going to help matters. And of course, that water has to go somewhere. It'll be running out through the Catskills into some tributaries like the Schoharie Creek. So flood warning from Prattsville all the way up to Amsterdam as we follow the Schoharie Creek with minor to moderate flooding possible there. As we hop back closer to the Hudson River, Albany, the rain is starting to pick up once again. We're also seeing more downpours through the Taconic Mountain Range. Also, as we get closer to, oh, let's say Brunswick heading up into southern Washington County through the Berkshires as well. Some of the steadiest and heaviest rain between Saratoga Springs and Glens Falls also spilling over into Washington County. And we'll continue to track that from south to north. As you look at those winds, also going to be an issue for us through the afternoon. Already seen some gusts anywhere from 25 to 30 miles per hour. Winds will only grow stronger, especially to the east of the Capital District and the Hudson River Valley. We do have a wind advisory currently in effect. It will run through 4 o'clock this evening. Sustained winds 20 to 30 miles per hour. Those gusts, though, could be closer to 50 miles per hour. So hopefully all your holiday decorations were secured before the rain started to fall yesterday. We are concerned about some down tree limbs, also uh, some power outages potentially. This nor'easter tracks directly over us as we go through the day. We're paused here at 4 p.m. Wind's going to be picking up. Backside of the rain should finally clear us, uh, moving out from southwest to northeast as we continue through the late parts of the afternoon. So still going to be wet for the evening commute. Dry tonight, but we will unleash some colder air and that will spin out some scattered snow showers throughout the day tomorrow. It's going to be a blustery one. Minimal accumulations, better opportunity for some of that snow to stick as you look farther off towards the west. OK, forecast for today features heavy rain that flood watch for everyone that carries us through the wee hours of tomorrow morning. Turning windy, also some gusts again that could be in the ballpark of 35 to even 50 miles per hour. And on top of that, we could challenge a record high that dates uh, that is over a century old. Tonight, rain comes to an end. Temperatures will crash into the 30s. Mostly cloudy, breezy heads up. There could be some refreezing that happens with some of the wet pavement spots. Scattered snow showers tomorrow, high just of 35. Quieter for the rest of the week. We officially welcome winter Thursday night. Then as we head into the weekend, a few snow showers could show up. Maybe for some of us, we get a white Christmas after all. Still some big question marks there, but it looks like it will be a smooth ride for Santa on Christmas Eve into the capital region.